I feel like I feel like I give my parents more a hard time when I got older. Why do you think that? Because I feel like, okay, I feel like this is a general trajectory. And this is like a gross generalization here. But I feel like North American kids, like Canadian kids, like non-first-gen kids, right? They, like, get up. They, like, go through high school. They go through the rebellious stage. They, like, break into their parents' alcohol closet. They, like, give themselves alcohol poisoning, rush to the hospital, pull them back. They, you know, all that stuff, right? Steal the car, go move in with a girlfriend, fake run away, realize they have no money, come back. And then, like, they get into, like, college. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, wait a minute. I actually can't go anywhere. And I actually don't like my girlfriend Go with the, much. like, stick with <laughs> the fucking bandana. <laughs> <laughs> Little as hobo. <laughs> yeah. Right? But then I feel like they get to college. They, like, got it all out of their system. They, like, marry their high school sweetheart or whatever. They do their university and they move on. And then, like, their parents are just like, ah, they made, like, a functional us, you know? It's like, man, we're, like, in there. We're, like, living these double lives, you know? We're, like, faking it. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to soccer practice. And I'm, like, going to the school dance. But, like, then I got to get my biology marks up. So, like, you're, you're basically first-gen kids are the greatest double agents i think because you live in this wild you live in like you're navigating a lot of identities here it's true it's like the americans you see that show it's like i couldn't even keep track of all my stories at a certain point i had to write them down in yeah. my agenda and then my school teacher was like yo what is this arslan i was like yo that's not for you <laughs> that is private property <laughs> private just look at the signatures page which i also forged yeah. <laughs> but like so we're doing that and like we're doing well in school and then we go to university and then I think like our immediate bubble gets kind of broken. So like, I don't think we're sheltered, but I do think it's easy to kind of like, for example, if you're like from a particular religious background, a community background, like it's easy to kind of be around people like that. You're with family like that. So you're not like exposed to things that maybe you haven't had to deal with before that other people are like been doing up in high school and stuff like that. Cause you couldn't get away with it in high school. Then you get older and now when they think you should just be all steady and steady, you're like, ah, I'm going to quit my job as a lawyer and make a movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's shit like that. And they're just like, where's this coming from? Who are you? I'm like, ah, see, turns out I was living a double life for 25 years. And, and now I have the freedom to do what I fucking... Now I have the freedom to do it. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, not actually gunshots. Like, yeah, <laughs> not, yeah, yeah. not actually shooting yeah, people. Yeah. Just Pretend, know. pretend. So that's kind of how I feel. So yeah. I feel like we... And then we got to navigate on the big, like, macro things, you know, like... What kind of careers we're going to do? Who we're going to marry? I feel like at that point, those stuff is where more friction happens with like first gen kids and their families and parents. That's, that's my thought. I don't know. Do you feel that way? I mean, yeah, like all those are super valid. I mean, like, I guess I'm thinking back to my own my own experiences yeah it's the same it was like at school you're trying to like not come off as like you know the kid of immigrant parents and like all this the all of the values that are kind of instilled in you from a young age at home but then also not try to be so refy when you're at school like so i don't know about you but english isn't my first language when i grew up my parents are like grandparents were living with me I spoke Gujarati. I didn't speak a lick of English. Oh, I thought you were gonna say like Toronto slang was your first yeah, language. Yeah, yeah, straight like, up. You just yo, came out of yeah, the womb. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 hey man, yeah. yo, let me like, let me get a little bottle, eh? Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yo, yeah. Let me get a little sippy <laughs> sippy, eh? Oh my god, my god, mama, my god. 